Hey guys, uh, today we have the Xbox 360 uh, Tomb Raider Edition uh, controller. As you can see, it's a nice red. Um, it's got a nice like bandage basically around the, the controller on one side, and then you got your combat axe little thing, your custom D-pad, obviously, a nice glossy effect kind of thing on the Xbox button and over here and around the controller we've got some scratches to make it look like it's had some wear and tear like in the game but obviously this is brand new so it's not real it's just a bit of fun so you got a nice little picture there which is nice you can see that's the whole thing um, so yeah this is a limited edition obviously so the who knows how many of those make um, you can't really see what it says, but at the bottom it says that it's got a uh, downloadable game character. So that'll be nice to play with. Uh, as you can see, there's more custom art of Tomb Raider again. With Lara Croft on the back. Obviously, she's younger than any others. With her bow. And then on the back of the controller, it's just a matte finish of black. Which is nice compared to the original standard Xbox controllers on the top. It's just a nice black finish. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, so there's just a little seal there that I've already removed. So just bend back the plastic just to be able to get access into the nice controller here. So we'll just pull it straight out. So just put that out of the way for now. So here it is. So uh, I've got a bit of stuff here, but I think we'll go ahead and try and open this up. I don't know how to do this because I've never opened one before. And there we go. Ah, we've got some Duracell batteries just down there, as you can see. So it does come with some nice batteries, which is good to have. And it will come. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to remove this. Um, just trying to figure this out. Out of a little tab. There we go. And then we should just get to pull it out. There we go. So we'll just put that. That's just the custom art paperwork, which we'll just put over there for now. And here we have the main attraction, which is obviously the Super Caller itself, which is a more plastic, I don't know if you can still hear me like. So I'll just take that out like that. Just open that up and I'll we'll take out the controller because we'll first play with this. So here is the actual controller. Um, let's just have a look at this first. Obviously you've got your rotating D-pad, which can't really do one-handed. There we go. As you can see, look, it's now like the original Xbox One. And then you know, the original 360. And then if I put it down twist up and you get the nice can't really tell much of a difference on this video really but if I turn it there you can see that it's actually like out uh, they got rid of little bubble bits on the analog sticks for grip because they were annoying so this is nice this feel to it kind of like a I don't know it's nice anyway yeah it's got a nice texture this this is kind of rough, which is nice because it's a nice feel. Because it's like, oh, it's nice there. It's not rough as in evil. That feels nice. The yeah, Xbox button. These feel good, like a normal controller. Um, the A, which is the A, X, Y, and B, and everything. I was um, hoping for this, but they're nice and firm, like when you get an original one. Because I bought a controller not long ago that I traded in to get this controller. And um, the buttons would just basically touch them and they work, so I didn't like that. So let's go ahead and take out the battery compartment. Just take that out. And as you can see, you get the standard Xbox battery compartment, which I will be replacing with my plain charge kit. And of course, you've got your normal charge thing, charge port at the top there, sorry, and the chat pad and headset port. On the bottom, we have limited edition writing on the bottom here, which says Tomb Raider. 
a survivor is born adventure hardware with the Xbox symbol which if I turn that look at that you can read that so it looks nice this has got a glossy effect this bit here in the middle which is nice but this is a matte finish all here and then it's all a matte finish on the top which is it's more shiny though than it is on there and like I say this is a bit rough here which is nice it's not super rough it looks really nice though nice bright red 360 controller here so so thanks for watching um hope you've enjoyed and yeah see you next time